Okay, good evening. Let's discuss how to use a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of a liquid. Now, lots of pieces of laboratory glassware will have graduations on them describing the volume. So if you fill up to this line, you'll have 250 milliliters. If you fill up to this line, you'll have 300 milliliters, for example. But if you want to measure the volume of a liquid accurately, you need to use a measuring cylinder. And there's a small trick. So let's show you. You need to know about the meniscus. When water is poured into a thin glass container, the surface of the water curls upward at the edges and that forms what's called a meniscus. The meniscus looks like this. So if you have a look at that um, photo on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see that the surface of the water is not flat like you would expect it to be. It's actually dimpled, curved upward at the edges. In order to accurately read the volume of a measuring cylinder, you need to place the measuring cylinder on the bench, keep it nice and flat and level, and then bend over. Stick your bum right out into the middle of the room and get your eye level with the meniscus so that you're not looking down from above and you're not looking up from below but you're looking straight at the surface of the water, straight at the meniscus. Uh, and then you record the volume at the bottom of the meniscus. So in the diagram that's on the right of your screen now, and this diagram you should copy, in the first position, the topmost position, the eye is too high and it's going to lead to an inaccurate recording of the volume of the liquid. It's going to, it's going to give you an uh, incorrect reading. That's when you're looking down at the meniscus like this. Okay. The middle position is the right one. That's when you're looking square on, straight on at the meniscus. And the third one, the bottom one, is going to give a low reading. So that's when you're looking up from underneath. Okay, your eye line is too low there. So it's important that you bend right over so that you're looking square on at the surface of the liquid and you record the volume at the bottom of that curved line. Let's have a look at an example. You don't need to copy this particular uh, slide. The volume if of the measuring cylinder that is shown is 6.8 milliliters. It's not 7.0 milliliters and that's because you must remember to read from the bottom of the meniscus. That's all there is to it.